My name's Larry and I'm with Under the Bridge Flies and I am going to tie a mouse. Um, my mouse is going to be a streamer mouse though, so I believe that, uh, I know that at nighttime, full moon, guys get out there with those mice and go across the water and them big browns just come up and nail them. So, um, and I've seen a ton of posts and articles and stuff about mice you know, big bows, big browns, you know, uh, guys, you know, open them up or suck them out and they'll be, you know, full of uh, mice and everything, you know, and, you know, uh, especially the baby mice, you know, they're getting them underwater, so they're not getting them while they're swimming on top. They just, you know, fall off the bank or whatever from the nest and they just sit there and gorge themselves on these mice patterns. So, um, I tied this uh, nice little streamer pattern up and a couple guys wanted to know the recipe on it so I said well you know what I'll just make a video it'd be easier and this is a pattern that you can use for a lot of different things too you know you can use it for you know egg leeches egg sucking leeches you know uh, pretty much any streamer that you want it's a really easy pattern to tie so Anybody from, you know, beginner to expert, you know, can, you know, t experts can tie these things up in a couple minutes, you know, and just knock them out and take these things fishing and, uh, you know, hook you into some fish, you know, and beginners, you know, can get in there and tie these up and take them out and, you know, really um, catch some nice fish with them. So, you know, that's always a good thing, you know, guys get out there and catch some fish on their own flies. So... Anyway, so we're using a 2220 Daiichi's is the hook I'm using, and these are size two, which uh, 2220 is a size two 4X hook, a uh, regular streamer hook. Um, you can use these in ones, uh, you know, you can get them down real low and everything too, uh, change colors a little bit, you know, if you want to make a, you know, smaller, you know, mouse pattern. Um, but these make nice streamers. Um, like I said, you can really change them up and everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm wrapping mine with a little bit of O point or yeah, O three O this O three O lead wire because I want mine to get down a little quicker. Um, guys, uh, nymphs and streamers, you know, with Browns in the daytime, you know, those things are getting up there closer to the fast water and they're really, you know, sitting in there eating up everything. So I want mine to get down in that fast water a little bit. Um, once your rabbit, you know, your rabbit and everything gets wet, it'll get it down a little bit too. But <clears throat> I said, I want mine to get down. But another reason I'm doing this is, as you can see, I'm putting my lead closer to the back of the hook because I want the back to sink. Um, when I strip this thing, I want it to jig, but I want my back to sink, you know, a little bit quicker than the top. That way, when I pull it back up, you know, it looks more like a mouse, you know, propelling himself with his hind legs, basically, is what I'm thinking. So, um, I'm trying to get my back down, you know, a little bit quicker than the front. And, uh, you know, I, there's not a lead, a lead on this. This is just going to give it a little extra, you know. Um, so, but leads optional of course you know um i'm using a ultra utc's 140 and mine's going to i'm using a blue done on mine uh trying to match the color you know of my grizzly that i'm using as far as my hair my uh rabbit strip goes uh try to keep it gray um you know or blue done uh so if you're tying brown of course you know brown tan um but uh, depends on what fly you're tying, you know, so Just bring that to the back of the hook now. These are really 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 simple tie um, so What we got a uh, hairline magnum? Uh, this is uh, natural hair Grizzly um, this is a really nice really really nice looking uh, for mice so when you measure this out, make sure you leave, uh, go up to about the center of where your hair is pulling back already on there. Um, get past that patch. You want your hair uh, where it's catching air to be over the top of the eye of the hook. Now, the reason I do this is I'm putting a hood on these and I'm actually making that, you know, like into my nose and, you know, mouth area for a mouse. Um, another reason is I'm going to make that um, 
a little bit stiffer when I'm all done to the at the end here and make that to where it's propelling water catching a little water to make a little bit more sound in the lakes and everything you know um, that'll just give this fly a little bit of a you know water pushing you know get some sound out of it to uh, attract some uh, fish you know in so um, what I'm doing is I'm going to mark this with my thumb to the end of this and we're just going to take our scissors and just run my scissors right across the top of that hide and pull up do not cut <laughs> don't get it pull up um, wet your fingers bring that hair forward and it just gives you a nice dry patch right there right on the hide to get you a really good connection with your thread and stuff uh, you can wax your thread at this point if you use wax I do not use wax uh, hardly ever I got a bunch of it but I don't never use it for some reason but I'm just going to wrap that around about four or five times, pull that back and go back. You know, we want to just, you know, make sure that's good and secure back there. So um, don't want it pulling off or anything. And once you get that back, just pull your rabbit strip back there and just let it hang. And next thing I'm using is I'm using crosscut rabbit to make my bodies out of. Um, like I said, if you're... Uh, you know any color that you want to make this fly but it's a really great streamer pattern so and it's simple to tie if you're a beginning tie you know fly tire you know give this a shot get you some cross cut rabbit strips um, some regular magnum and buy hairline don't go cheap on your rabbit strips I mean there is a huge huge difference in rabbit strips and hairline is the best I've ever seen I mean it's a thicker better strip so um, we're just going to tie this in now you see where that little hole is back there all I'm doing is setting that crosscut rabbit in there make sure my hair is pointing backwards and I'm just filling the void and I'm just going to use that to tie my crosscut in with there and we can tie that down real good and don't have to worry about it uh, poking up making us a large hump in our fly so once you get that in, just go ahead and wrap your rabbit strip and just uh, where the hide is, just get the hide right up next to the next one. Pull your rabbit strip, you know, your hair backwards. And again, you're just going to make nice tight wraps with the hide of this. And, you know, just keep pulling your hair back as you're going and give it a little, you know, tension too. You know, you don't want to put this on loose because... It, your fly won't last it just ain't going to last and but you don't want to pull really hard because you will break his rabbit strip I promise you that but just continue on back and just like I said just continue and just make you know nice tight wraps up against the hide and then once you get closer to the front of this fly you can start you know think about overlapping just a little bit because um, you're going to as you can see but you don't want to cover the hair just overlap and then when you get to the very front come around and just keep back from your eye uh, about a hide's length and go ahead and wrap that down right there tie it off and that way when you snip it because when you snip it a little bit of that hide's going to come forward still and you do not want to cover your eye on the bottom side of this fly so um, you want that nice and clean pull that little bit of hair out and say that gives you a little bit of space there um, it's you never know gonna know it's even there once we're done with this fly so and you can really tie these down real good too so you know um, all right so we just you know keep that go ahead and tie that down and keep it back a little bit and next thing we're going to do is real simple. We're just going to split this hair up, you know, just uh, grab your fingers and pull on both sides. Start at the middle of your hook and just pull down. And you see all that uh, hair splitting up and all dropping down. Uh, grab your other hide, your rabbit strip, and go ahead and pull it forward. And I got a little much on the front of this, but that's okay and again we're just going to wet our fingers you can see how this rabbit strip i mean it just turns brown black and gray i mean just this is going to make a great mouse pattern so and we're just going to move our thread we're not going to go right up to the eye you know just keep a little eighth of an inch or quarter inch you know away from your eye make sure you got that rabbit strip you know good and pulled back up front there uh just 
grab a hold of both sides of that to where you know it's just saddling <clears throat> excuse me saddle saddle you hook there and just go ahead and wrap that down and uh, basically we're just going to build us a little base right here on top of this fly and we're going to leave this front sticking out there like I said and what I'm going to do with the front of my fly here is in front of the hook I'm going to leave this eye I want I want this eye covered with the top so I'm just going to make a little V cut there little V cut there and we're just going to make a little nose or a head with this fly and then I might bring that down some it's a little bit long there but uh, I might trim it down just a little bit more but basically what we're doing um, once we uh, get this fly all done up we're going to not, uh, whip finish it up underneath there too which is going to keep this head or the nose or whatever you want to call it you know up at an angle just a little bit above the fly and we're going to zap a gap the bottom of this hide, which is going to make this harden a little bit, make it a little bit stiffer to where um, the water is not going to push it back like that, you know, that easy. And it's just going to make uh, to where when you pull on this streamer, especially in the slower water, that's just going to make, you know, like a popper sound, um, you know, just to draw the fish in a little bit closer, you know, and uh, really... Get those fish in to where you want them and uh, hopefully draw some more attention to uh, your mouse pattern here now as far as your tail you can snip off your tail now whatever you want to do however long you want to put this like I said if you want to put a regular tail on these you can um, I'm just going to use you know I'm just extending this to where it's going to have the rabbit strip tail uh, give a little action on the bottom there with the rabbit strip of course but I'm not making mine real long because one of the bad parts about making your tails too long on these uh, streamer patterns is you're getting short strikes. Um, you got no stinger hook back there in the back. You're going to get these short strikes. You're going to feel that fish hit all the time. You're not going to be able to hook it. And if you're like me, you're going to get upset because you can't hook a doggone fish. But you know, you know what's hitting it. <laughs> but tell your buddy standing next to you that when he's like, Oh man, he just hit it. Uh -huh, sure he did. <laughs> If you're fishing with the guys that I feel like I fish with, you know, then they, they're they not believing you. Trust me. They're like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> no picture, no fish. That's what they tell me. So, all right. So I'm just using regular black rubber legs. You know, um, you can use pretty much whatever you want. And mine's just going to go back. You see the back of the hook. I'm, my rubber legs, I'm just putting them back about an inch past the hook. I'm going to mark out with my finger, uh, fold it in half, and then that's where I'm going to cut it. Uh, my actual, I'm going to cut these again, but we're going to put two sets of these. And you want two of these legs, or two of these rubber, yeah, two of the rubber legs together. Just keep them together. Um, grab a hold of your string there, um, wrap it around, grab a hold of it, and just, uh, if you tug on your string you see how I'm doing that and it just holds itself right there so real simple you don't have to mess around with holding the rubber leg in place you can put these wherever you want to like I said just wrap, wrap your rubber leg around the string to where it's just cradle on it grab your string hold on to the rubber leg to where it's you know decent tight keep your string tight um, you know while you're doing this and that rubber leg is not going anywhere Go ahead and check it out. Um, they should be pretty close to even if you're putting those on like that. Grab a hold of the front ones, uh, fold them over, and I like to put my front ones uh, on top, So, um, but you can do it however. And that way, when I tighten this down, as you can see here in a second, my top ones are now you know, just above that. So I'm gonna take my top two legs now and I'm just going to trim those half the distance of the body to where they're shorter because your front legs, you know, of course, will be shorter than your back. And then you can split those legs. And then if you want to, you can split them. You don't have to if you just want four legs or whatever. Uh, more motion, I think, um, the more intriguing it is to the fish. So I'm splitting mine and 
we're just going to pull that off and split it real quick now um, I'll finish those here we'll uh, the longer the longer the video the more hours it takes to load on YouTube for some reason this uh, 15 minute video or whatever it turns out to be will end up taking an hour and a half to upload so but see what I did I just uh, split those up and that again you do not have to you know split them you don't have to use two if you're using silly legs they're going to be split already because they don't come together like this but uh, the round black legs are you know plenty for this especially on this mouse so uh, next thing I'm going to do for this Max is we got to have eyes. Got to have eyes on the mouse. And so I got some mono Wopsy. These are from Wopsy. These are mono eyes. And I'm using a medium, which you could actually probably go with a large on these, but uh, mediums. And just set it on top there and just start uh, crossing it, crisscrossing it, you know, just like you normally would. And Throw some crisscrosses around there. You don't need a whole bunch because, you know, this is going to be um, glued really well up on top of this head, as you'll see here in a second. And then, like I said earlier, we're going to go up under the eye, throw some wraps under there, and while that little nose there is sticking up, <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and get in there with our whip finisher and run that around three or four times, tighten it up, and do it again I double whip finish all my flies you don't have to do this if you don't want to but um, I do just because I don't want my flies coming apart um, so I got that little extra hair up there as you can see which is you know probably gonna come running back once uh, this thing gets in the water we want to keep those eyes clear so I'm just going to trim that off a little bit just to try to keep those eyes clear stuff some um, my head of this fly um, I don't think I want it to come to that much of a point so I'm just going to round this off real quick and this is stuff that you can do you know however you see fit um, now uh, zap a gap got some here somewhere now just take your zap a gap or super glue whichever you're using um, if you're not using zap a gap give it a shot buy you some stuff lasts forever a lot longer than super glue comes with a brush in it um, I got the brush on stuff here uh, this is great for tying um, if you're not using it give it a shot um, it's a little more expensive than super glue but it lasts a lot longer so in the long run and you can really you know like I said especially with the brush applicator um, I also got some I put in my uh, other bottle here to I use with my pen and I just get down, you know, wherever I want to and with, you know, a big pen and uh, get that zap gap right in there. So, and this here, I'm not trying to glue this to the eye. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm zap gapping the bottom of the hide on this. And what's going to happen, that's going to dry up on me, you know, once that's dried up and keep it away from your eye until it is. But once that dry... You see how much stiffer that's you know already becoming so that's going to give us that water you know that water that is talking about you know that little popping sound or whatever but you know um, once that's in the water that's just you know and it's drying more and more so it's just going to continue to get harder there on this little above that so once this is in the water that's just going to you know force water up over the top of that fly and make a you know it's going to actually create a lot of sound for this fly so It'll attract more fish. But anyway, that's my mouse streamer. Um, Under the Bridge Flies mouse streamer. Real simple tie. Uh, change colors up, you know, put black and, you know, whatever color you want on the bottom. You know, use cross cut. You can even go black and black, make you egg second leech when you get to the front there. Use some orange thread, thread strip, you know, change out, wrap, you know, an orange threaded head around that thing um, with some, you know, just thread. Uh, UV it or, you know, just give it a coat of zap -a gap or whatever, you know, and you got you a nice little egg sucking leech. Uh, you can do, uh, do a green top and then a brown bottom or a tan bottom here. If you're in a lake situation, um, olive and tan are great for lakes you know um it'll catch fish though and it's a real simple tie real nice and easy nice and fast um but anyway i hope you enjoy my videos uh if you 
when I'm trying to tie a fly and you can't quite get it, give me a holler. I will make a video of it and we'll uh, show you how to get her done real easy. Like I said, um, I tie a lot of complicated flies, but I make it easy as possible. So there's a lot of tricks you can do to, you know, guys, you know, just don't know about. And I don't mind sharing, you know. So anyway, um, check me out on Facebook, Under the Bridge Flies. Uh, if you're looking to buy some flies, I'm a selling them. So, uh, or, you know, follow me, hit, click that follow button. I put these things on all the time. Um, I enjoy doing it. Uh, I enjoy helping guys out if they need it. So, um anytime just give me a holler and uh we will uh tie a fly for you or if you're going to be around cody and pal give me a holler and uh we'll go catch some fish too anyway you guys have a nice day thanks for watching my videos hope you enjoy it